Hey, hey, hello, besties. Today we are going to get started picking up where we left off with our last video. We've got our snow globe tumbler. Now we're going to rhinestone around Miss Lady and we're going to rhinestone the lid today. So we're first going to start off by wiping down our picker tool with some um, alcohol and a coffee filter. We will be using liquid fusion as our glue today and I'm just going to draw up some with my needle tip and syringe. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to take my um, coffee filter that's wet with alcohol and wipe off the tip um, just to clean it up some because, you know, glue is all over it at this point. Okay, so now we're basically going to put our glue down and then we're going to pick up some rhinestones and place the rhinestones on top of the glue. When doing this, you want to be careful to work in smaller sections. Um, it's going to depend on your glue uh, dry time and it's also your speed. The logo was pretty simple to do, um, but I did probably maybe a fourth at a time when it came to the glue, laying the glue down and then the stones. The amount of time it takes is going to depend on your speed and the size stones that you are using. For me, I was using size SS20 and it took me about 15 minutes to complete around the logo. In an effort not to make this video super long, I am going to speed through a lot of the process because the only process really is to put glue down and put your stones down. Do be careful to keep an eye on your stones as the glue is drying because they may shift out of place and you see me readjusting the stones. We are going to get started with the lid by sanding it. I am using my 60 grit sanding block and I'm careful to sand the top and the, um, the side of the lid because I'll be putting rhinestones on the side also. After you're done sanding, you wanna wipe off all the debris. I'm using a baby wipe because that is what was closest to me. After cleaning with my baby wipe, the lid was wet, so I grabbed a coffee filter to dry it off. So next we're going to paint our lid and because I don't wanna get any paint down here, I'm gonna grab some painter's tape and take this bottom part off. So first I had the bright idea to paint uh, my lid with acrylic paint because you know I don't like going outside when it's cold. So I'm using acrylic paint. I started with light pink. I ended up using a darker pink on top <laughs> and then I ended up taking it outside and spray painting it because I was worried that the acrylic paint was just going to wash off. So with all of that being said, I probably would have just spray painted it from the beginning. I would have spray painted with a coat of white first and then I would have came in with my darker pink. Now once my tumbler was dry from all of the paint, I just went in with my glue, what I had left in my syringe. I started with what I had left in my syringe and started applying my stones. I worked on the outer rim first and we are gonna complete it like we did around the logo. We're gonna put down a little bit of glue at a time and then we'll place our stones. The amount of glue that you put down at once is gonna depend on your particular speed and also your type of glue. The method I'm using to place my stones is called a scatter method. Um, so what I'm basically doing is taking a whole bunch of different size rhinestones and just kind of fitting them together like a puzzle. And the goal is to eliminate as much space possible in between the stones, if that makes sense. Now that we've made significant progress with the outer area of the lid, we're gonna start working on the inside um, around that center hole for the straw. Um, and I'm doing this because I wanna make sure that I have a cohesive look and it's not looking all jagged and like stones were forced once I get to the hole. This lid took at least two hours to make, at least. This video that I'm showing you right now is sped up by 20 <laughs> and you can see how slow it's going. So it took me at least two hours and this entire clip right here 
I'm going to cut it short, but this entire clip is 20, 20 and a half minutes, but I'm going to cut it short. So let's get to the end. Well, before we get to the end, I do want to let you know that if you're having problems with your picker and you're noticing that it is no longer picking up your stones or you're having a hard time grasping stones, just go ahead and grab you um, a coffee filter or a paper towel and some alcohol and wipe off the tip of your picker. It helps tremendously. And also when you're using your picker to grasp stones, <laughs> when you're using your picker to grasp stones and then you are trying to correct those stones, maybe, you know, change their position, I would suggest that you use the other end of your picker so that it decreases the chance that you getting glue all over that wax tip of the picker. So I forgot that before I was able to finish the top part of the lid, I had done jump to the sides of the lid um i just needed something different i had been working on the lid for so long i just was i was tired of that so i started working on the outer rim of the lid the size i'm using for the rim is SS20. I decided to stay consistent with the size just to make it easier, um, but I did, you know, use the different colors, of course, that came in the pack. While working on this lid, I tried to uh, make sure that my stones were lined up evenly, and I just went based on like the top of the, the rim which is the bottom right now because it's a, the lid is upside down. But you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Do be careful with the amount of glue that you're using um, because these stones will slide <laughs> if you use too much glue. And I did have to keep like readjusting them. And um, also when I was done, when I was completely done with the lid and I had set it down, um, I actually... When I came back, I had noticed that some stones were like sliding completely off the lid. But luckily I got back to it before the glue actually dried. So I was just able to push it back in place and flip the lid the opposite direction of how I had it laying. So once the rim was completely dry, this is probably a couple hours later, I was able to finish with the center and power through. What I'm doing now is, because I have such a small amount of space, I was just like putting a little dollop of the liquid fusion down and taking another picker tool, the metal piece of the picker tool, and just spreading the liquid fusion out. I was so happy when I <laughs> finished putting in these last couple of stones. Oh my gosh, y'all, it took so long. This is the first lid that I have blinged at all, and I did not realize how long it took. Um, so I don't even know if you can call this a tutorial. This is like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I did this and this is how I did it. And I recorded myself doing it. Like, I don't know, but I'm going to put it on this screen, like right here and let you know how long it actually took, because I think two hours is a gross underestimate of how long it took to complete this entire lid. But you guys, I absolutely love how it turned out. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and be sure to turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Bye-bye.